So many of the wounds suffered by American troops at war are invisible ones of depression, anxiety, and stress. And today, a Senate panel heard that more than 20 percent of service members now report psychological distress, and their use of prescription drugs is soaring. Martha Raddatz, who has been to so many war zones with so many troops in her career, tells us what kind of drugs are being used and why. Eight years of brutal combat. From isolated outposts in Afghanistan to the streets of Fallujah in Iraq, U.S. troops have been fighting, dying, and suffering unbearable emotional scars. Some have turned to suicide, but we learned today an increasing number, at least 8% of the force, are now using pills, including antidepressants, Prozac, Zoloft, and Paxil, prescribed right on the front lines. Psychologist Jason Prinster served in Afghanistan. We're sending soldiers on combat missions um, who are depressed, who are suicidal, and we are prescribing medication that has significant side effects. Side effects, say soldiers, like sluggishness and disorientation. Some of it uh, would make me more depressed. Some of it would make me jittery. Chuck Luther was an army sergeant based in Taji, Iraq. He told us he got no therapy, just drugs to help him through his deployment. The mortars would come in. Uh, suicide uh, car bombers would try to run through the gates. You know, psychologically, it was just taking a toll of you, know, and then seeing your fellow soldiers being killed in front of you. And they would give you drugs, antidepressants, and send you right back out again? Right, exactly. On our most recent trip to Iraq, we asked an Army psychiatrist about medicating warriors. If the treating clinician feels that a given service member might be able to be restored to full functioning, with a course of an antidepressant medication or an anti-anxiety medication or a sleeping medication. We have the wherewithal to do that. But the troops don't always have the psychological help to go along with the medication. The military is making an effort to provide therapy to service members having mental health issues. But given the remoteness of some of those bases, it is not always possible and remains a real concern.